I recently came across a fascinating video where a doctor took omega-3 supplements for 90 days. And later on in this video, we're going to hear why Dr. Michael Greger recommends everybody, not just vegans, should be taking a vegan omega-3 supplement. So first, back to Dr. Allen. He said he eats a predominantly whole food, plant-centered diet with some meat and fish once a week. And he said he makes sure to eat flaxseed every morning on his oatmeal. The main reason he was trying this was to see if he could improve his pretty severe dry eyes. He tested his omega-3 index before starting, and it was low at 4.3. But after 90 days, not only did his omega-3 index rise to 9.5, but he describes a, quote, significant shock, unquote, in how much his dry eyes improved. To hear more details, you can click the link below to his video. Now, the vast majority of the population get their long-chain omega-3s from fish. But in recent decades, one of the biggest concerns about fish has been its potentially harmful levels of pollutants and metals, such as PCBs, dioxins and mercury, a known neurotoxin. And I've been struck recently with the amount of studies coming out of the critical importance of getting enough omega-3 in your diet, not just for vegans. This study seemed to provide the strongest evidence to date of the importance of including omega-3 fatty acids in the diet, as so many Americans do not meet current guidelines. And researchers found that higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids in a person's blood were associated with a reduced rate of lung function decline. The researchers found the strongest associations for DHA, which is a long-chain omega-3 fatty acid. Now, in theory, our body should be able to elongate the short-chain ALA found in nuts and seeds to the longer-chain fatty acids but it's thought that most people can't do this effectively enough. Then these findings, which showed a significant association between omega-3 and hearing, were presented in July at the annual meeting of the American Society for Nutrition, which links higher levels of the omega-3 fatty acid, DHA, with a reduced likelihood of reporting age-related hearing difficulties, which adds to growing evidence of omega-3's role in health maintenance and prevention of aging-related ailments. So now let's hear from Dr. Greger on why he thinks everyone should take a vegan omega-3 supplement, whether they are 100% plant-based or not. So there are trials showing that people with levels of these long-chain fatty acids found in populations that don't eat fish, they don't get these preformed EPA, DHA in their diet, you take those kind of blood levels and then you randomize them to an algae-based DHA or a placebo, and you get a significant boost in cognitive performance in the DHA group. Not run by a DHA company or whoever. So this is a randomized up by placebo control trial. That's convincing to me. It's like, all right, uh, because of the way I eat, I'm going to presume my levels got to be down here. And they took people whose levels down here, gave them some, you know, extra day, like 250 milligrams of DHA. And then all of a sudden, their brain function better. That suggests to me their brain function was being impaired by not having sufficient levels, particularly in older men who may not elongate the short chain omega-3s as well because we weren't born having to create a brain from scratch in our uterus, which is about one-third DHA. So women have to have this tremendous capacity, men less so. I would encourage everyone to consider getting a pollutant-free source of DHA in their diet, about 250 uh, milligrams a day. So there's some made from yeast, some made from algae. So you don't have to worry about, you know, toxic heavy metals like mercury and PCBs, dioxins, etc. And this is regardless of what you eat the rest of the time. Fish eaters, that's where they should get their DHA. They shouldn't get it along with toxic chemicals. I mean, unless they have some time machine, then go back before the Industrial Revolution. Everyone should be getting, and particularly important for pregnant breastfeeding women, I, I'd consider it until we know more. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.